All right, our next question is from Lucas, and uh, he asks, uh, what indicator that you are using to signal trend change? The color bars, green, red, orange, is this a custom indicator? Uh, yeah, this this is this is a custom indicator. Um, it, it runs on the thirty minute chart of regular trading hours only, um, which is just kind of what I found. It filters out a bunch of the the you know the, the futures noise. Um, but yeah, this more or less is telling us when they're colored green, the bias is to the upside. When it's orange, it's usually going to signify that it's you know changing trend and going to go to red and then back to orange and green. Um, so this is. Um, based on short-term momentum strategy. Um, I also have these kind of overbought, oversold kind of levels in here. If we were to, um, when you're, when you've got red bars, sometimes you get these, these uh, bright red shaded areas in the background telling us it's, it's overbought and it should pull back. Um, also have our, our kind of short-term momentum panic or FOMO indicator, meaning Everybody has piled in. They're all buying stocks hand over fist. Typically, if we're if we've got red bars and we've got a spike in red, it usually means we're going to have some type of short term momentum uh, pullback. Um, when the market moves really far and puts something pushes it way beyond its like its norm, and uh, you get big red, too much of something is a bad thing. Too much of an overbought is saying it's not overbought. It's actually shifting gears. It's actually pushing through resistance and holding its ground. And then it, it flips. So um, yeah, this is a, a custom kind of indicator kind of to pull up and just get a feel like, you know, bullish uh, don't know where it's going yet. You got bearish vibe um, and flipping back and forth. And it's just based pure on, on kind of momentum. And we like to follow it with um, let me just pull up the SPY. These panic buying selling indicators are what I focus on for the SP 500, which if we just look here, green means there's panic selling. When we get a, a spike of green above this blue line, that's telling us that everyone is running for the door. They're dumping their shares. Um, and I use the New York Stock Exchange volume for this um, to uh, see if, if money is, everybody's hitting the bid or if they're hitting the ask, are they, you know, buying um, this is everybody hitting the ask. Everybody's just buying hand over fist. They don't care what they pay for it. Just get me into the stock because it's rallying up and they don't want to miss out. And when you get that, you get a pullback. When everybody's running for the door, this is when you get the, these lows and the market should have some type of bounce. You can see when you get panic selling, the market carves out a bottom and then it can have a bounce, gets into an over, overbought territory. And, and then it pulls back, you got oversold, you got overbought, and now we're getting into a trend change with lots of volatility. So it's it's got that chop, which is just part of the market. Some These can be difficult times to trade when you've got the Fed uh, creating all those moves. But yeah, these short-term indicators, um, these, these indicators here are really simple. You can put them on your own charts, these panic um, selling and greed buying. Um, all it is is... Um, Panic selling here is the NYSE down volume divided by the NYSE up volume. So you find those two symbols, you put a divide sign between it, however your charting platform does it, it'll create a, a, a line, a ratio. And then I just put a blue horizontal line. Um, I just put it at the three mark. Three is um, uh, a level that I find anytime it gets over three is usually when the market is is starting to go like that, um, put in a bottom. And typically whenever it gets over three, you're gonna notice if you're in the band members um, service in the morning or in the afternoon, when when we have green, I'm usually telling you guys, I'm like, I know you're probably scared, you're you're panicking, you know, prices are falling, you, you know, it's, I try and comfort everybody saying, listen, everybody's panicking. This is actually a good sign. It means there's gonna be a short-term bottom here. Um, and it's the opposite. If we have all red and, and the markets are surging and we're not in a position, I update as well. I'm like, everybody's buying everything hand over fist. This is like a stampede of FOMO. This is just, you know, you feel like you're missing out and I get it, but don't fall victim to it because, you know, it's going to just give it back really quick. And and these moves are pretty strong. Like these moves we've seen recently, you know, those are two and a half percent moves um, you put that with the sector, that could be a 5 or 10% move or 15% move. Futures, uh, huge because there's massive leverage. Um, so we just kind of ping pong around. Um, I kind of got a little deep on that one, but uh, these are our uh, proprietary kind of trend analysis, oversold, overbought market conditions. Um, 
and I, and this is what I cover every day in ban. I, you see these and we kind of use it on our charts to help identify market gaps. I'll draw the gaps on the charts and, and things like that. Are you ready to follow a proven trading strategy? Do you want to own the strongest index, hottest sectors, and bond ETFs only when they provide an opportunity for growth? Now you can with the Total ETF Portfolio Trade Alert Newsletter. Follow our long-term investment positions, active index, and bond trades, and own the hottest sector ETFs during stock market rallies. Visit www.thetechnicaltraders.com to learn more.